we've been feeling the impacts of this, seeing the impacts of this for a little bit now. Yeah, especially last uh, week. And what happened yeah, was all the wildfires from the west jumps up onto the jumps up. It goes up into the jet stream and it travels across the region. And then we have high pressure across the east coast. We have calm winds and all those dust particles and ashes just come on down and create higher uh, particulate impacts. So what happens is all those particles uh, causes problems, especially with people who have uh, lung issues in the elderly where those uh, little particles can get into your lungs. So that's why there was an air quality alert uh, last week. It's not very often we do that. The last time it was that bad uh, with the particulates uh, was back in 2002 and 2007. There was another incident as well. Back to weather, showers and storms today, some heat and humidity Monday and Tuesday, cooler but unsettled middle and end of the week. The hurricane set are still keeping an eye on this little system offshore. They think it might medium chance that it would develop. But right now, the way the upper level winds pattern is, we're going to be dealing with northwest flows and troughs. It's going to keep this from moving in our uh, direction. And humidity wise, we're going to be kind of uh, moderately humid for the next few days. Uh, go up to Thursday near oppressive and then it turns much less humid. Meanwhile, Storm Prediction Center has Western Connecticut under a, a marginal risk of strong to severe thunderstorms this afternoon. And it will all depend on how much sun comes out. We always talk about this, of course, uh, when you have more sunshine, when it's warm and humid, that's when you have the better chance to get uh, stronger thunderstorms, more clouds, then you have less of a chance the atmosphere is more stable. Dew points now are up a bit in the mid 60s. We're 65 to 70 in the low 70s with a little bit of a south and southwest wind now uh, picking up. And so live Doppler is showing most of the rain is on the light uh, side. A couple of uh, yellow colors you see that are uh, moderate. But uh, again, we're not looking at anything uh, severe this morning. No lightning strikes here. There have been some down uh, across New Jersey offshore, but that's really about it. And it's up in here that we're going to be watching. OK, we got this cold front and what we can break out a little bit of sunshine today. That's when we, the potential can have those strong thunderstorms. Let me time it all out for you. You can see we get rid of the showers and then right about here you see three, four o'clock. You see how these cells, these heavier reds, well, that could be the isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. We'll have to see if this line holds together. This computer model is insisting that we're going to have strong thunderstorms, gusty winds, vivid lightning, and heavy rain. So keep your eye to the sky later on this afternoon. And you can see the clouds, and then you see the thunderstorms. And temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. It would be western Connecticut. It's 83 in Danbury, 81 in New Milford. It's where you also can have the better chance to have those strong thunderstorms, as the Storm Prediction Center has has pointed out increase that's uh, cloudy tonight then clearing out moderately humid look at this 85 to 90 do it again on Tuesday here's your Fox 61 seven day forecast couple of 90 degrees and then we cool off I think by Friday and next weekend guys we just might have a couple of nice days Angela